Hello, I'm Harley Stenzel. In this video, I will show you a working example of a composed application with IBM Data Power Gateway for Docker and continuous integration. I'll make changes to the data power configuration, test them locally, then check them in. Once the changes are checked in, I'll show you Jenkins building and testing the changes I made. I'll start by bringing up my composed application for development. While that comes up, let's bring up a browser. We'll use it for both making changes in the DataPower web GUI and for seeing our CI results in Jenkins. Now, log into DataPower in the Foo domain. I'll drill into the multi protocol gateway. For demonstration purposes, I'll change the number of times the HTTP front side handler connection can be reused. Now that I've made my change, I click Save. Switching back to the composed application, I can see my changed data power is still working properly. I have one more change to make. This one is in Gateway Script. In my editor, I add demo to the result. As soon as I hit save, I see my change reflected in the Docker Compose output. Now that my changes are complete, I'll review them and check them in. As soon as I push, the origin server triggers my Jenkins CI process. In less than a minute, we'll have our result. For this demonstration, I use the lab from Interconnect 2017, session 6381. All the components demonstrated are part of that lab, and they're also available from GitHub. Success! That's one complete iteration through a data power continuous integration cycle. You can do the next one. I've shown you one simple example of data power with continuous integration. I hope this helps you see how data power applications can participate as full citizens in your CI CD process and DevOps workflow. You can easily integrate data power gateway into your own tooling and processes. Thank you for watching.